Hi. Is it going? Oh my god, it is. Okay. I have to make this brief because I'm in a hurry. So I haven't made a video in like, you know, forever. But uh, I've been really, really busy with like school and whatnot. AP Psych is kicking my ass. And so is environmental science. It's like, blah. But, uh, uh, yeah, sorry, I haven't made a video in forever. I've been really busy. Um, I had a story. I had a good story. It's nothing meaningful. It's not. It has nothing to do with lucid dreaming. It has nothing to do with anything I really care about. But I had a stalker. A stalker. Normally everyone's like, oh my god, that's kind of scary. No, I am excited. Alright. Because it's not like a weird, creepy So Actually, it's probably weird if I tell you guys about it. You guys are going to be like, wow, that's really weird. Okay, so last year there's this boy, and I don't have a crush on him or anything. But, uh... Spanish boy, maybe. I don't know. He says he's from Florida via Cuba. I've never actually talked to him. I've shown people that have talked to him. Anyway, so we like, I wouldn't say stalk each other, but he'll walk by and he'll kind of do that. And then I'll be like, maybe not, not so corny and obvious, but you know, it happens. And then, um, I don't know. I was like, got all excited in the last day of school. I was like, you know what? I'm actually going to talk to this kid because it went on for the entire school year. And just kind of like smiling at each other. Like he'd walk by me and bump me. And eventually he, he talked to me a little bit, but I mean, like, it wasn't like anything big. Actually, no, not really at all. He didn't really talk to me. I already didn't speak much English. I like me some Spanish boys. The Mexicans are, yes. Anyway, but, um, so you know what? The last day of school, I was like, you know what? I'm going to talk to him. I am. So I was just going to give him my number, you know, and just do that little cute, like, give it to him. And I never saw him. So all summer I've been waiting. I was like, oh my god, I get to see him again when school starts, right? Because I was like, you know what? He's going to be my friend. He's going to be my very good friend. And then, uh, first three days of school, I'm like, where is he? I don't know where he is. And then finally, finally, yesterday, I'm like, Ugh, like, walking out of him, like, walk out of the school, you know, I have to ride a bus because I don't have my license until October. I know I'm a loser. I'm a senior and I don't have a license. Anyways, but, um, <coughs> I walk out, you know, whatever. Oh, wearing my new glasses. Check these out. Check these out. Check them. Check them. Anyways, so I walk out wearing my new glasses, you know, just <sighs> having a terrible day. I just got out of math class. And then, look who I see. And I'm like, like, I didn't know what to do. So the only thing I could think to do was I was just like, fuck. That's all I said. I was like, look. And he's like, maybe I imagined the wave. I don't know. But I was just kind of like, and then I booked it. Not like booked it, but I was kind of like, and then he was laughing at me and smiling and being cute. Not cute as in, like, I want to bang him, but cute as in I just kind of want to, like, squeeze his cheeks. Well, oh, my God, he's so cute. Because he is. He's adorable. But, um, uh, another thing. I have another stalker, but it's not such a, like, a good stalk. Like, it's not really a stalker. I have this blog, right? And I have, like, I don't know, 500 followers on it or something. Maybe a little less, give or take. And, uh... There's this guy who's been messaging me. And at first I thought it was a girl because the picture's not very clear. And then I, like, got a bigger, like, view of the picture. And I'm like, wow, it looks like an old man. And I was like, maybe he just looks older. Who knows? And he's, you know, French or something. I don't know his name. He doesn't speak much English. But he's, me and the foreigners. Anyways. And so he's, like, you know, messaging me on my blog and whatnot and telling me these weird things. And then I was finally like, you know what? How old are you, dude? Because he's like, oh, I study psychology, and I am in a grunge band, and people tell me my voice sounds like Kurt Cobain. I'm like, oh, good for you. Probably not, because you're Mexican. That lives in... He doesn't live in France. He lives in Quebec? Quebec? Is that... It's in Canada. They speak French. Is that Quebec? I don't know. Anyways. I think it's Quebec. Quebec. Anyways. But, uh... And then I was like, well, everything he does kind of sounds teenager-y, at least college-y, like 20, 21. And I'm like, dude, how old are you? And he's like, oh, tell me how old you are, and I'll tell you how old I am. 
And uh, I was like, you first. And he's like, oh, I'm 30. And I was like, ah! He's like, but it doesn't matter. Age is just a number. He's like, all the feelings are the same coming out of the heart-shaped box. And I'm like, retard. I'm like, ah, this isn't going to work out. I was like, I don't think we can even talk. I was like, seeing, seeing as how you know, you're the same age as my mother, this isn't going to work out. And uh, so I decided. I don't like stalkers. He messages me like every day saying these weird things and it doesn't make any sense because it's like half in French. And I'm like, I don't speak French. I speak like, you know, English and a little, little teensy bit of German. I wish I spoke Spanish. I like the Spanish boys. But not that kind of Spanish boy. I like Spanish boys, you know, somewhat closer to my age. 30? That's so old. I don't mind, you know, like 17 to... 20, depending. And there's exceptions. There's exceptions. You want to know who? I bet you guys are going to guess the Volta boys. The Omar and Cedric. Those would be an exception, even though they are, you know, my mother's age. Way too old for me. It will never happen. And plus, I heard they're both married. Well, if not married, then, you know, might as well be married. I don't really care. It's all about the hair. That's what it is. I don't like the Mexican boys. I like their hair. It's like curly. Sometimes it's spiked. I don't really like the spikes, but it's, like, it's beautiful. It is. Mine's dead. My hair is dead. Terrible. And the fact that, you know, I only attract Mexican boys, which is strange. I don't know why. But, you know, I'm happy about it. I like the Mexicans. You know, I like the Italians, too. Not like the Guidos, but like the actual Italians, the like kind of olive skin and cute face. Speaking of which, I saw that movie Eat, Pray, Love, and uh, everyone said it sucked. I thought it was pretty great. Well, kind of. I don't know, certain parts of it. I didn't like when she went to India. It's not that I don't like India. I just didn't like that section of the movie. It was just kind of like dragging its feet. But uh, in the very beginning, when she's dating that actor, that cute little actor, What an adorable man! What what a beautiful man! He's just gorgeous. I, I, I was speechless. I was like, stay with him, stay with him. Don't don't leave him. Don't do that. No midlife crisis. Stay with him. Anyway, so she ends up leaving and then falls for another guy and then oh wait, did she? No, she didn't. But at the very end, she fell for a guy, Brazilian guy, and I give her props for that. I like, I like me some Brazilians too. Anyways, uh, still so the actor boy was way cuter, way cuter. I was just, huh. I think that was why I liked the movie. I really do. Cause the rest of the movie, you know, it wasn't all that great. I do want to travel though. It's really, really makes me want to travel. It's pretty good. Just wasn't one that I was expecting. Uh, but I got on a really strange rant. So, I'm done. So, summary. Summary. School sucks. Psychology sucks. It contradicts all my beliefs and ideas about, you know, life and dreaming. Um, environmental science sucks because I bought, you know, three textbooks on Amazon and it never came in yet and I'm like seven assignments behind. Uh, gym sucks. Who likes running around? I'm thin. I don't need to run. Why do you need to graduate? Look at this. Look at this. I'm generally pretty thin, okay? Get out of the way, Bailey. Anyways, I don't know if you could actually see me. Probably not. It doesn't look thin because, you know, I'm wearing a big flannel. And these pants are too tight, so I'm, like, pouring out of them. By the way, if you haven't noticed, I am really tall. I am about 5'8", maybe 5'9". I'm pretty tall. Uh, which is why... You know, it's kind of a big contradiction. Like, oh, you like the Mexican boys. All the Mexican boys are short. I'm like, yeah, I know. Anyways, stop. My dog won't leave me alone. Anyways, but, um, I have got, no, oh, rest of summary. Gym sucks. Uh, I like the Mexican boys. I'm tall as hell. Actually, I'm probably not 5'9". I think I'm, like, in between 5'7 and 5'8". Either way, I'm tall. Um, eat, pray, love. It was okay. And, uh, that's all I have to say for today. 
Oh, and I got glasses. And I have two stalkers. Goodbye.